This is going to be a problem already, I know it. Hi, my name is Natalie and I already tried to film this video in eight different places. And this is where I settled on. You know, my left ear is ringing, that's really weird. This appears to be the only place in my entire house where I am able to film a video in somewhat adequate lighting. I have tried around my entire room and have moved a carpet about eight times. I moved a dresser. So here I am, this is what we're working with. Today I'm gonna show you uh, how I manage to somehow look like I'm wearing a different outfit all the time when really all I wear are the same seven pieces of clothing. And what I really do is I just wear all the shirts with all the pants. This just is what I constantly wear in the summer. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the thing that I'm wearing currently. It's just like a linen, short sleeve button up and it was super cheap and these pants weren't though these are pants are from everlane i'm gonna stand on this chair so you can see how they fit me which i think is really well these are my favorite pants i've ever purchased the price per wear on these pants must be like a quarter of a cent because when i first got them i wore them every day i wore them all the time so i'm really not mad at all that I spent so much money on these pants because they are my favorite pants. I call this look Gwyneth Paltrow in the movie The Talented Mr. Ripley, except that if I was Gwyneth Paltrow, I would need to do this and then scream really loud before getting on a ferry. Next look. Look two is the exact same as look one, except that I'm wearing white pants. I love monochrome a lot. I do monochrome in white in the summer because doing monochrome in black is unwise when you live in the sunny, sunny state of Georgia. I forgot to mention at the beginning that I have two different pairs of shoes that I pair with these things, and I didn't include those in the like seven piece capsule wardrobe because I assume most people have like a shoe or two pairs of shoes that they wear in the summer. I either wear these. These are like my year round go-to shoes because they're com they're extremely comfortable. These are just like the white mono dark Doc Martens, which I've finally managed to beat up sufficiently and they look so much better that way. And then just these um, shoes. I think they're called Huarach, I don't know, I've stepped on them too many times to see the brand. They're so comfortable and I have really narrow feet and that's like their whole thing is that they run small, which I saw that and I was like. So if I made the, if I wore these, I would unbutton this. Then I would wear this like gold necklace. I feel like gold is extremely summery. And then these would just, you know, sandaling me up. It's a good way to get very summery. I also would probably do this belt. I don't know, it doesn't really match the shoes, does it? Depends on like how washed these jeans are because when they're freshly washed, they fit me really well in the waist, but then when I haven't washed them in like four wears, then they get really bagged out and I have to belt it. So quite honestly, that just depends on my responsibility level. But so you can see with the shoes, I think it looks really great. Plus also, nude shoes make a short person look taller, which is, I'm always trying to look taller. You also might notice that I have not included any shorts in this. Despite the fact that yes, it is hot as hell outside right now and probably I would be having much easier time filming this if I was wearing shorts. I'm five foot one for all of my European watchers. I know that there's one. Hey Rachel, what's up? How many? Centimeters. 154 centimeters. I'm long in the torso and I have a lot of thigh because I was a competitive figure skater until last November. Shorts cut me at a really awkward place and they make me feel like like the way you feel when you have to use a gas station bathroom is the way that I feel every time I wear shorts. Now if I wore the docks, I would put this back up. I love that it would be entirely monochrome with the Doc Martens. I would just unbutton it if I was wearing the sandals. For some reason, I feel like that's the appropriate way to wear your shirt collar if you're wearing sandals. I don't know. Also, I ditched the necklace. Next look. Again, all I did was change my pants and add a headscarf. However, headscarves, you know, this is just a square scarf that I got from Madewell. I feel like I'm wearing a totally different outfit when I've got a neckerchief on my head. 
a head kerchief. I think it looks cute, especially with my short hair. This never looked good when I had long hair, but I think that I have the hair for these things. I always used to wear them twisted and around my neck like this, but um, I don't know. Now they just look better in my hair. Sorry, plant. But if I don't want to wear the neckerchief though, which I mean that happens all the time that I just, this looks very like farm girl out to pick strawberries. I don't always want to look like that. So if I wasn't doing that, what I would do is, I still have the gold necklace on. Unbutton again. Hey Mike, what's up? Necklace, and then I have these little earrings. How well can you see that? These little earrings, which I took a picture like a Matisse painting, and then I just took wire and like traced it. I love them. And since the necklace is gold and these are gold, they go really well together. Come on, there we go. I'm not gonna put in the other one. And honestly, you can't really even see it here, but it really just dresses up the top half because jeans are extremely dressed down. So I feel like it's a really good juxtaposition of styling. And I think, I always think that's really cool. For shoes, I'm wearing the box with this because I feel like it gives a callback to the top of the outfit. That didn't make any sense, but that's, you know what? They look cool. Next look, next look. This is a bodysuit I just got from Aritzia. I love it. I actually still have the necklace on from the last thing. And so what I could do, I could just add the earrings back in and then go like this. Although personally, I don't like the silver here and the gold here, which I mean like I'm getting a little picky, but personally, I would prefer to wear a scarf with this. I could either wear this I might wear it around my neck actually in this case because it kind of like fills in space. Uh, I also have this one. Oh my God, do I love this scarf. I also got this from Madewell, but this was a silk one. Tie it there. And then I've got red and yellow happening. And then it's like a lot less prairie girl and a lot more, I don't know what it is, but I like it. You could wear the sandals with this or you could wear the Doc Martens. Doc Martens would definitely look edgier. Like they would go with the belt more and the sandals would definitely go with the scarf more. I don't think this belt is inherently edgy, nor do I think Doc Martens are inherently edgy. All I know is that I wasn't super crazy about the gold necklace with the belt. Next look, next look. Back with the favorite pants and we remain in the bodysuit and the same headscarf thing. But I did change my necklace. I think it looks really nice with this. The only thing that I might consider changing is the scarf, which is not bad, but I also have a yellow scarf that's identical to the red one. Why not get yellow? This one looks a lot more Dick and Jane to me. The red one looks very Southern, like I belong in Georgia. And this one to me looks very like Iowa, you know? I'm not a, I'm not a prairie. Well, I guess there are lots of prairies in Iowa, aren't there? There are probably more prairies in Iowa than there are here in Georgia. Basically, it's a little different. I also really like the way that the yellow looks with the green. Um, with this, I would for sure, since this just is so light, it's clearly very hot on whatever day that I'm wearing this, would definitely wear the sandals with this outfit. I don't have a space for a belt on this because it is elastic waistband, which is the best thing. Next look. Next look, again, same bodysuit, but we've changed the pants, we've kept the same shoes on, and we've changed the neckerchief. I changed the neckerchief because I don't like my yellow neckerchief with these white pants, but I did leave the sandals on, so that's important. I also took off the necklace because I don't really, I don't usually like a neckerchief and a necklace. I especially hate neckerchiefs and an earrings. I don't know why I keep calling it a neckerchief when it's in my hair. The belt really doesn't match the shoes or the shirt, and I know that's not necessary, but when I tried it with the black belt, I don't know, it's very strong. I don't wanna say masculine, cause like it's really not. I don't know one dude that has a belt like this, but it's, it's just less light and airy. Oh, it matches my watch. There we go. I mean, dark brown matches everything. These jeans are also from Everlane, by the way. Um, they, they're not breathable jeans. I will not give them breathability. The other Madewell jeans I have, those are a lot better for hot, but these are, you know, they're capris. So they're not bad, but I really wish that I had white pants, kind of like the green ones, where it was like an elastic waistband and a much more flowy light fabric, but I don't. Anyway, next look. This one seems boring, and it is now. Everybody has this. I'm gonna make it interesting in like five seconds. I'm 5% more interested. Everybody's got the outfit that's not like beautiful and amazing, 
a t-shirt from my favorite band's acoustic show, my favorite jeans, a belt, Doc Martens. I'm not really gonna go into detail with this, but this t-shirt has a lot of uses later, especially with dresses, so. Next look, this one's more interesting to me. So I like the red, again, because I don't like the yellow with these pants. I've got the sandals on because this feels more summery. The band t-shirt, I just touched my mic again, I'm very sorry. The band t-shirt, I mean, it's just, you know, t-shirts are nice. Although again, not the most breathable thing if you're out in sweaty, sweaty Atlanta. Like, I think I look nice. Not the most breathable pants and not the most breathable shirt, but I do have sandals on and I have the scarf that when my hair gets frizzy, inevitably, because it's hot, It'll keep my hair back and it won't look insane. Next look, next look. This time I tied the t-shirt because there's no reason. It just looks good that way. See, I could wear any of the three scarves with this. This looks nice because the pants are green. And then this is obviously like a mix of both. Plus it's white. The reason I didn't do this with the other one is because the whites are slightly different and it bugs me so much. Um, but, you know, this might actually end up being the best one. I like the red better, but that's okay. This is just, I think this is just nice. It's, it's a lot easier and this is much lighter. These pants are probably the lightest of all the pants that I've mentioned today, which is funny because these are actually made of wool, but they're just so airy and I just love them. Also, I have Doc Martens on with this because, I don't know, I feel like the tie gives it a little bit of like an, like an athleisure but not really. Here we are. Okay, now is when things get fun and interesting and you get to see into how I greatly overthink all of my outfits. Next look. Next look. I feel extremely 60s right now and I absolutely love this one. This is actually a dress and as you can see, I have been having a little bit of a belt problem, but the way that I usually remedy this is I turn it towards the middle and I get a little piece of uh, string and then I'll tie a knot around the belt end twice because this belt doesn't like come with the little belt loops on it. Tie it all up and I have a homemade belt loop and it just, you can't even see it so it just kind of stays in place like it would just do that. Um, and it looks really nice, I think. Um, obviously center your belt. But yeah, this is, I thrifted this dress for like $6 at this store called Ecology. I also thrifted this, although not at the thrift store, at like a, um, it's like a craft show market. It's called the Inman Park Festival. It's in Inman Park, which is in another neighborhood, but this one's like metro area, like main in town area. I think it looks really good with the black on black on black. But then the only thing I dislike about it is that I've got the sandals on again, which they're not bad. But, you know, I'm, I'm here to overthink the way that my clothes match. And so, you know, of course, I'm having an issue with the fact that the sandals don't match anything except for my skin tone. So what just happened with the lighting? I'll roll the sleeves up on this so it looks just a little more fitted. But this is the same band t-shirt that I had on in the last look, so it's versatile. And it cuts me right at the perfect spot. And it has pockets, which is the best thing ever. I love it. I love wearing this. I just feel like... You know, I feel like a preschooler when I wear this with no, you know, no gather in the middle. I only wear it with a belt. Next look. Final look. This is back to the very first shirt that we started with. The same dress that I just wore with a different belt and with a neckerchief head, whatever, thing on my head. It's been added. I'm obsessed with the green and yellow combo. In the winter, I actually wear this necklace with this dress. I also don't wear this collared shirt with it. And with the collared shirt, it just, first of all, pretend I don't have the scarf on, but just see the collar and the necklace just like clash. And this just made my neckerchief come out as if on command, because I'm gonna show you what I would do if I wasn't wearing the neckerchief. I would take one of many gold earrings. I showed you my Matisse ones from earlier, which are down here. And then I have these. Madeline De La Rosa has a pair of these and she showed them in a favorites video. And I was like, I have those beads. So I just like, I was watching her video one day and I was like, I could, I have the supplies for those. So I just made them. And I think they're really cool, especially with this. I don't know, they make this a lot more mature in my opinion. And this is a very like 1960s, schoolgirl. To me, it looks much more young than the last version, but like, I mean, I'm 20. I can still wear schoolgirl things. I'm in school for another year. But yeah, I like those. And then I also, I think if you're going for like a 60s, because like this is very 60s, this could also look good because again, 
yellow and green looks nice together. I think it looks great. I mean, oh, these are so heavy. I have not worn these since November, and ouch. I could also add this bracelet back on, which I took off at the beginning of the video, depending on which earring I'm wearing, because this is a different, like, more saturated yellow, so get out. I don't think I mentioned that I changed the belt. Basically, the black belt doesn't really go with the white, in my opinion. It still looks exactly the same on the bottom. Not really gonna stay here for very long. I think because the outfit's a little bit young, the scarf kind of makes it, it kind of adds to the youth of it. So if you're going for like a little bit more of a mature look, I think then you add the earrings if you wanna be younger. I would have absolutely loved the neck, the headkerchief, headkerchief plus collar shirt plus this dress combo when I was like 15 and like really inspired by Rachel Berry's fashion on Glee. This video is over. I hope that you enjoyed watching me go through- Stop creaking! What a noisy little chair you are. This editing is gonna be hilarious because I stood in front of this camera, I'm not kidding you, and like talked about jeans and a t-shirt for like six minutes. Good luck, Natalie. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel, even though my video content is wildly varied. Who cares? Learn how to make a notebook and then talk about clothes with me. Who cares? Um. Bye.